Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Tony Tweed, and I'm going to be talking to you about some domestic airlines and their target markets. Okay, so the first uh, airline I'm going to talk about is Southwest Airlines. As you can see, we'll start with the positioning statement. For medium to high frequency business travelers from diverse range sorry, of age groups who are price conscious, Southwest is a leading airline that delivers low cost, no frills, but dependable service because only Southwest can do so in a manner that is still comfortable and convenient for the customer. So. The deal with Southwest is basically that they, they have a business model that seems to be one of the most efficient in the airline industry. They stick to domestic flights and instead of having a lot of frills on board and, and luxury conveniences, they have your standard amenities and they offer it at a much lower price. So instead of like most major airlines that will advertise several seats at a high cost and then sell the rest to make up the difference on that particular flight they will uh, pretty much streamline the whole entire aircraft and sell every single seat at that same price with a, a margin of error considering that if it's, it's pretty booked they'll, they'll probably up the ante uh, on, their, on their advertisement or, or the seats remaining. Um, currently they have a, um, a advertisement campaign for $59 flights anywhere in America. That's obviously substantially lower than what you're gonna get you know, if you were just to go onto a website and, and look up tickets from, you know, any other discount airline. Um, that's something I want to talk about too, is even though they are a discount airline, they don't want to be looked at as a discount airline because that sometimes has uh, negative associations. You know, people don't feel safe when you're like, oh, you're flying cheap. They, they are real big on customer service, but they want to do it at a low price and they want to uh, provide to you those same standards of safety and customer excellence that you would get with any of the, the big <coughs> airliners, but they're just doing it a lot cheaper. So you might not have, you know, in-flight movies and entertainment and whatnot, but you're still going to have, uh, you're still going to have a, a airline that's going to get you from point A to point B on time and, you know, meet all your other standard expectations for domestic travel. <coughs> uh, their target market seems to be predominantly um, individuals going on business trips that plan their uh, trips well in advance so that kind of sticks in line if you're planning in advance obviously you're saving money but uh, in this case with Southwest you still have a little bit more leeway um, between you know buying last minute tickets and still being able to find a good deal. Their uh, mission statement is dedication to the highest quality of customer service delivered with a sense of warm friendliness, individual pride and company spirit. Um, something else I wanted to talk about was the the websites. Uh, when you go on to Southwest Airlines, it's pretty evident that they're not trying to engage their customer on a flashy, you know, market base, you know, with all these frills and bells and whistles. They're right to the point. Here's what our deals are. Here's what you need to do to get yourself on a plane in a, in a relatively short amount of time. So they don't really try to wow you on their website and. I noticed that with a lot of domestic carriers. There are some, and I'm going to talk about them next. Uh, Virgin Airlines would be an example of a, a discount airline, but they are exactly the opposite in the sense that they're trying to appeal to you in a manner that is not the status quo for the rest of the industry. Um, my positioning statement for Virgin America is for younger, more urban, tech-savvy travelers who are looking for a more upscale experience. Virgin America is an airline that delivers low fare, high quality service because only Virgin America aims to give domestic travelers more for their money by providing a higher level of comfort at a substantially lower price than their bigger rivals. I've flown Virgin America on several occasions and it is true, you can um, buy tickets for much cheaper than you would on your standard uh, larger airlines like American, US Air or Delta. Uh, and you can do this even last minute and still get pretty good deals. Uh, their target audience is is the younger individual who is tech savvy, and you know that from the second you go to their website. I I clicked on one of their advertisements, and they they want to stress this idea that the the whole flight's interactive, that they want you to be involved, they want you to feel like you're in control of your flight, and you're can while while you're getting to understand their perspective on that, you're interactively engaged in in the website. You have control of the individuals. 
you know, they have people shooting bows on the airplane and stuff, and, and you're actually like pulling the bow back. It was pretty cool. It's something that I haven't seen on a website before, so it's it's just to drive home, you know, if an older individual went to that website, they wouldn't know what's going on. They, they wouldn't understand why, you know, the website's lighting up in different parts and that they're supposed to click on it. So that's, that's one of those indicators of who their target market is, people that are going to be able to navigate that kind of uh, uh, feature. Um, now, how are they incorporating that into their airplane? They have a, a high-tech interface system that is installed at every seat back along the plane called RED. Um, this is not only for entertainment, but communication. Um, you can make donations, so if you're feeling philanthropic, you can you know, swipe your credit card and donate $100 to fight cancer, uh, you know, stop pollution, whatever, whatever you feel like is necessary at that time. You can also just run a tab, so once you swipe your card, you know, you can just click and buy and purchase and spend all the way to your destination. So they, they, they've cornered that market pretty well um, to keep you engaged and feel like you're in control of your space uh, during the, your flight with Virgin America. Um, also, uh, part of their target market is that uh, they only fly to pretty much major cities along the seaboards. So younger individuals that might want to go visit a place, have some fun on a weekend, would be more inclined to go to those types of destinations. Another way that you get an indicator that their mar target market is younger people is you know, the check-in experience. I showed up at LAX and they had a DJ playing at the check-in counter. It's like weird progressive music and there's mood lights and I, it just was unlike any other check-in experience I ever had at an airport. So it was pretty cool. Um, I felt like it was a different kind of airline. So I felt that I was being targeted to right off the bat. And the same goes <coughs> once you board, board your airline. The design is a little bit different. They have mood lighting. Kind of feels like you're, you know, getting go ready to do, you know, go clubbing or whatever. You're getting ready for your destination. And they get you pretty excited about the whole experience. My uh, final airline is Hawaiian Airlines. Um, Hawaiian Airlines, I want to begin by talking about their website. It's similar to Southwest in the sense that they are not trying to over-engage an individual in the airline. They want them to go to it, see Hawaiian Airlines, find a deal, get a ticket, and, and, and commit to payment. They're not trying to overindulge you with flashiness and, and uh, engage your, your, your senses at every level possible. Uh, the position statement that I came up with for Hawaiian Airlines is for families planning vacations and West Coast residents. Hawaiian Airlines is the preeminent airline to deliver the Aloha experience at an affordable price because only Hawaiian Airlines embraces the spirit of Hawaii. So obviously you can know if it's Hawaiian Airlines that they're flying to Hawaii. The target market for people flying to Hawaii is majority tourists because that's their primary economy basis. And uh, also West Coast residents because as of now Hawaiian Airlines only flies from uh, West Coast destinations. The individual that's going to be interested in Hawaiian Airlines wants that total Hawaii experience. They, they want the trip to be part of the vacation. They want to feel like the second they get on board, they're in Hawaii. And you're going to get that a little bit with Hawaiian Airlines. The, you know, the, the customer service attendants on the plane are going to be wearing stuff with flowers all over it. The food is going to be like bento boxes, maybe get a little bit of sushi or something, stuff that you're going to expect when you get in Hawaii. The water bottles aren't going to be regular spring water, they're going to be spring water from Hawaii. So they get you really excited about the whole experience. So particularly with the family vacation, like, oh, we're going to Hawaii, we're flying on Hawaiian Airlines, everything's <clears throat> going to be magical, and we're going to have lays, and, and we're going to have a great time. That's, that's the image that they're trying to project to their, their audience, and whether that's a family, um, older individuals, retirees that have been looking forward to this for their entire lives, they're getting that encapsulated entire Hawaii experience which uh, they're willing to provide to you. Uh, the mission statement of Hawaiian Airlines is grow a profitable airline with passion for excellence and our customers, our people, and the spirit of Hawaii. So again, they're embracing that, that whole Hawaiian um, idea of being in Hawaii and, and your expectations of what you imagine Hawaii is like. That concludes my, my brief on domestic airlines. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, nice job. Thank you.
So one of the things that um, you brought up was the experience, right? American or Delta or United or Continental is basically selling you a seat. That's all they're doing. 